In this video, I will talk about uh, the, the design of a quick sort that is optimized for hack assembly. So let's uh, talk about what is a quick sort. Basically, quick sort is a sorting algorithm that that will make uh, original data that is not in order. The quick sort will sh uh, make this uh, uh, array into a uh, order that will look at like this. Let's assume it's uh, following a uh, ascending order. Okay, this is a uh, sorted uh, data. There are many sorting algorithms. Uh, you probably heard about uh, bubble sort, insertion sort, and selection sort. Today, I will talk about uh, a quick sort. Let's start uh, think about uh, how to build a quick sort. The quick sort uh, has a uh, average uh, time complexity n times uh, log n. That is a uh, much smaller than and then the commonly seen sorting algorithm. Let's see, uh, let's have a look of the complexity curve. Mm, complexity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's this. This is uh, the one I'm looking for. As you can see, n square is here. It grows dramatically as the elements increasing. However, the n log n is a uh, much flat. It grows uh, slower than n square. So in an uh, average case, the quick sort is much quicker than bubble sort, uh, insertion sort, or selection sort for for large n. As a trade-off, the space complexity, what is basically how many, how much memory space your algorithm uh, may take. Uh, so the Space complexity uh, is uh, worsened from uh, constant 1 to log n. This is a trade-off. In engineering, there is no, uh, there is no uh, definition of the best solution. So you always trade off one concept for another concept. Okay, let's go back to the uh, quick sort. Okay, this first step will define three pointers. One is a period. The the other one uh, is a uh, L, which stand for uh, less than. And uh, the third pointer is a uh, G, greater than. So. So uh, in this case, I define the element zero, the l most left-hand side uh, um, element as a L, the lesser, and the last one as a greater. And I define the middle, the middle element as a period. However. In hack CPU, it is uh, not easy to do this to divide the size, the size of uh, our array by two. It is not easy to do this. Uh, there's no shift, uh, no shift by right, shift to right by one uh, digit. 
this function is not supported. So what I will do is a quiz method, a squeeze, squeeze method, squeeze from uh, both sides. So when the lesser, uh, the lesser pointer is uh, less than greater pointer, the less one will increment uh, to the right by one, and uh, the greater decrement uh, to the left by one, until they crossed. Once they crossed, uh, all falling to the same uh, position, this uh, well condition will uh, violated. So stop, uh, stop doing the squeeze. In this case, I picked the uh, uh, G, the last location of the greater pointer as a pivot. You can also pick up uh, L, uh, it doesn't make a difference. So here, I use blue color to highlight the pivot number. The next step, will I will move this pivot number to the end, move to the end of the array to uh, take it out of, of the way because we, uh, we are going to do, to do the uh, squeeze, squeeze again for the rest of uh, elements. If the period is here, it will interf in, uh, interfere our squeeze. So after after do this, the last one is a period and uh, the greater is a uh, last one minus one, so it, it is it is here the gre greater. So again, the lesser is a start from zero. So we follow this procedure. Well, L is a uh, uh, less than G. We increment uh, L until we got got a number that has a value. Uh, larger or equal to the period. Uh, let's see, uh, 2 is uh, less than period 4, so we increase the uh, increment uh, L. 3 is uh, still less than 4. Let's do it again. Now 5, 5 is larger than 4. So this is a uh, uh, position of L we are looking for. Now we find the G that is uh, smaller than period. Oh yeah, one is smaller than four. This is uh, the position of G we are looking for. So we do a swap. If L is still less than G, L is still located as the left hand side of the greater. We swap the, the two, one and five. Now uh, it, uh, uh, here, we swap one and five. Uh, it is uh, looks like this, and uh, then we loop back, loop back to here. Let's see. Uh, before uh, go going to the next uh, iteration, we increment L and uh, decrement G because we already done those two positions. Now L and G uh, are meet, so this uh, uh, condition. It's violated, so we jump out of this uh, loop. See what what is here. We would uh, uh, need to swap swap the value of uh, L and uh, P to put the period uh, value into the correct uh, position. Now in this uh, array. All the elements, all the uh, entry to the left hand side of the period is smaller than the period. And all the elements uh, to the right hand side is uh, greater than the period. Although it, uh, uh, in each substring, it uh, may still out of order. So we do a divide and conquer. We keep the, this uh, uh, period because it is uh, already in its uh, uh, correct position. We take the, this one, uh, this as a, a substring. Again, we do squeeze and uh, find a period uh, element. Move it to the end. Do squeeze again uh, to find uh, any element that is uh, larger than the period 
at the left hand side. Also from the period uh, element that is uh, smaller than uh, the period uh, from the right hand side. You can see the, the two uh, the lesser and the greater is crossed uh, here. That means uh, no element uh, is uh, swapped. So, uh, so skip the loop. If uh, the value of a period, if the uh, L is smaller than the period, because they are at the same position, three is not smaller than three. We keep it there, and the period three is uh, is a uh, in its uh, correct position. We continue to do a quick sort for the substring two and one. Uh, do a squeeze, and the G selects the G as a period, move it to the end, uh, and uh, do a squeeze. Uh, we don't need a any iteration because there's only one element left so the two is in correct position uh, one is here the last one of course it is uh, in its uh, correct uh, position so we this branch is, is done so we go to five and six five and six to a squeeze uh, select five and the period put to the end there's no swap uh, required so uh, but in here, six is larger than five, so we take a swap, put the six to the end, and the five is in its correct position. Six, the last element, uh, return. So at the end, we have this uh, uh, sorted uh, array: one, two, three, four, five, six. So in the next video, I will talk about. How to implement a quick sort in C++? Let's gradually do this step by step. Uh, it is um, much easier, easier, much easier to understand before jumping into the assembly code. The reason why I'm selecting C++ is uh, because this, this language supports a pointer. Uh, it is uh, very easy to implement uh, those uh, pointer operations. So see you in the next uh, video.